right now, I am what is known as a chief's operator. So um, I drive the, uh, in the morning. I do all the administrative work, um, all the reports, and I drive the chief to the calls. And when we get to the calls, I am the chief's eyes and ears inside the building, uh, while the chief stays out front and directs the the scene. Uh, well, like I said, um, in the morning, first thing I do is I make sure that everybody's at work. Or uh, the chief that I drive is a battalion chief, um, and so he's in charge. He or she is in charge of um, battalion two, which is our battalion, and there are um, five stations that we have, including the one that we're in. And so I have to make sure that everybody's at work. No one's called in sick or, you know, needs to go on some special detail somewhere, some training or something. Um, if they do, then we have to, I have to backfill the, those positions, make sure that every engine company and truck company is fully staffed. Um, so that's the primary thing in the morning. I also have to make sure that um, if there's any um, things that we have to do during the day, any inspections or training, that uh, everybody knows about it. So that's all the administrative stuff in the morning. Um, and immediately after that, I check out the equipment on the, on the um, what we call the buggy. But it's a, uh, an SUV. Make sure all the equipment on it is uh, uh, ready to go. Put my safety gear on. Um, check out all of our personal safety gear. Um, then the chief usually goes to a meeting in the morning, um, drives around, inspects all the firehouses, grabs any reports that maybe maybe you know, do, and we bring it to the division chief. The division is, a, is the level of just above ours. So the city is divided up into nine battalions, and then the city is further divided in half. Each, each half of the, of the city is a division, and within those two divisions are the battalions. So I report to the battalion chief. That so he goes to have his meeting at the division house, and I take care of all the reports. Um, after that, uh, if you do have any training or anything like that, I, I make sure that we're, all the people are there, ready to go, and um, interspersed through all this, we could have a call at any time. Um, and like I said, I drive the, the SUV to the scene, and then uh, while the chief stays out front, um, I go inside the building. Usually it's a building. I'll go inside the building and um, be the chief's eyes and ears while the crews are doing what they need to do. I'm trying to get to where they're not yet to find out if the fire has gotten to that part or if there's anybody that needs to be rescued. Things like that. Morning, evening, night, five minutes before I'm supposed to go home. It, uh, we stop what we're doing and we go on the call. And I'm assigned to a single station. Um, so I work with just the, the people that are assigned to that station now. So um, the camaraderie, the uh, teamwork, the... Uh, the satisfaction of the people that I work with, especially right now, is very fun. Because we are a paramilitary organization, and it's it's drilled into us. Paramilitary meaning um, there's a there's a there's a rigidity in uh, the authority that we have, and it's it's drilled or it's tra it's 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 um, drilled into us. Uh, we're trained to realize that there's a boss and then there are people below that boss. And when the boss tells you to do something, you do it. Because the, the boss knows what's going on. They have a lot more experience. Even though we're a paramilitary, if it's something... I mean, on, on the scene, obviously, everybody has a, a, a certain duty. And you don't tell someone who's senior to you to do something. <laughs> um, the, the authority always goes down. There is no authority going up. We're not a democratic society. Um, it's, a very, it's a very vertically integrated um, uh, organization. But at the firehouse, I mean, everyone's friends and, and we all have to live together. It's like a second family. And so um, rank doesn't become as important in the firehouse when we're not on calls. When the call comes in, then everything stops and there's a very definite line of authority.